Hi, my name is Kevin Fitz. I'm with the Oregon Mental Health Consumer Association. Uh, thanks for allowing me to speak. Uh, before I start, I just want to thank uh, Chair uh, Kafori's office and um, Commissioner Jules Bailey's office for their support in this uh, program offer. I'm uh, here to testify about program offer 40065B. It is a mental health and addictions office of consumer engagement. So, um, like I said initially, I want to thank, uh, it was, without the support of Jewel's staff and uh, Commissioner Kafori, uh, Chair Kafori's staff, this uh, probably would have never happened. Uh, David Hildago and Joan Fuller, the health department and mental health director, submitted a proposal for an office of consumer engagement uh, with a 3.5 FTE, uh, initially with a budget of $250,000. and. Um, uh, which we thought was amazing, and then, um, we, and then, what we're what we're interested in is uh, is through the process of what was initially then submitted uh, by the chair's office was a cut to that program of a hundred thousand dollars, reducing it from three point five FTE to two point FTE, and uh, we're just interested in finding if there's any way that they could restore that to its initial funding. Uh, just a brief thing in your budget for two thousand seventeen. The total mental health and addictions budget is $121 million. Um, not, that's, for this whole budget, as it was initially proposed, is not even 1% of your budget. Um, my friend Ron Manderscheid, who is the executive director of the National Association of County Behavioral Health and Developmental Directors, predicts that by 2020, peers will constitute 30% of the behavioral health workforce. So. Anyway, thanks so much uh, for hearing my uh, testimony, and I appreciate your service. Thanks. Thank you. Christina McGovney. 